So what are you guys? We are the Sparkwood family! Hey guys, since I'm about to do some problems that are not so MCAT relevant, uh, let me do one that's kind of MCAT relevant and related basically to an extra add-on to office hours, okay? So it's basically gonna be this. Again, on the real test we go mellow, just like we talked about in class. So when we have something like the Atwood machine, Okay, in a simple output machine like this, the thinking is, okay, why is it the case that the tension in the rope has to be the same? For a continuous piece of rope, that tension pretty much has to be the same. And the thinking is that we assume in these problems that this rope is massless, okay? So the idea being, if the tensions were different and this guy had very, very, very little mass, because of our whole F equal to MA, if the mass is really tiny, right? Even if there's a small force differential, so let's say like uh, 10 newtons, and the mass is like, say, 0 0.001, uh, let's say, grams, something like that, okay? First, I converted to kilograms, so that would be 1 times 10 to the negative 3 grams, which is 10 to the negative 6 kilograms, right? So a 10 newton differential, right, on this guy would end up being what? 1 times 10 to the 7 for the acceleration. And that's insane. Sorry, a slight technical difficulty, but we got it under control. Okay, so you can see that acceleration would be insane, right? And um, honestly, the real players are in here are these guys. So that rope really doesn't do too much, not in terms of its mass, okay? So that's really the reason why we take that tension to be the same, because we don't want a net force on the rope since the rope is taken to be massless, because then otherwise we get these ridiculously high accelerations. And honestly, in, in real life situations where the rope is reasonably light, it won't make much of a difference at all. Okay, because of course the real players are this guy and that guy, and not really the rope. Okay, all right, so uh, I get it. Okay, so I know this, and you know what? Even though it's very nice to take positive to be this direction, like we did in class, right? Uh, for this video, since it's supplementary, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it the other way. I'm just gonna make left and right the same, just literally down is positive, up is negative. Doesn't matter whether you're on the left or on the right. Guys, going down like this. So this is a greater mass and this is a lesser mass, and it's moving up like that, okay? And let's assume the acceleration around it here has a magnitude of A. All right, so let's do this piece by piece. So I wanna to go to F equal to MA, right? Again, you want to think critically. You want to use the passage. You don't wanna memorize algorithms, especially not for the MCAT, okay? But there is some basic framing, especially in physics and chemistry, that they like. So this is a classic, F equal to MA. So like we talked about in class, step one, sum the forces. So I'm gonna pick a body, I'm gonna pick this one. Okay, so if I pick this body, I'm gonna say here, uh, the force down is big MG. And then the force up, the only guy that can do that, and I'm gonna put in forces only, is tension, okay? Maybe, let's label these. So here's the tension up. Okay, there's MG pulling you down. Likewise, on the left-hand side, little MG is pulling you down, but tension is pulling you up, right? And like we just argued, right, the tension must be the same in both pieces of rope. Okay, so uh, I think that's it so far. So let's take this guy on the right, let's work on that guy first. So in our system, we're down as positive, we're going to have the sum of forces is mg in the positive direction, right? And then tension in our system, it's going to be negative, so minus the tension. And that is it. That's technically the sum of forces. Okay. In fact, let me make it clean. Okay, so that's step one. All right, step two. We haven't actually used F equal to MA. All we've done is sum up the forces. We need to set the sum of forces equal to MA. But M of who? Well, in this setup, we've only looked at big M, right? So that's what we're gonna use. So sum of forces equal to big M. And like I said, in this problem, since we assume this is heavier and this is lighter, the acceleration is gonna be this way, and down in our system, it's gonna be positive, right? So because down in our system is positive, we're gonna make this positive A is equal to MG minus T. Okay. All right, not too bad. But now, what are we given? That's why I color-coded this, right? We're given these guys. So we know this, and we know this, we know G. We don't know the acceleration, my bad, should have pointed that out. The whole point is, what's the acceleration of this system, okay? Um, and we also, but well, we don't know T, because we just made them up, right? Like, we put them into the problem. So, can't solve. Okay. So, we gotta do more, right? We gotta add in one more equation. We wanna do the same thing. In fact, let's just start the procedure over again. This time, let's go for this mass right here. So, for that one, you know, again, in our system, down is positive. So, we're gonna have sum of forces is equal to little mg, right, minus the tension. Tension's going upwards here, okay? Uh, and then play the same game. Step one, sum the forces. Step two, set them equal to ma. Now it's gonna be little m, 
And what about the acceleration? Well, it's the same acceleration in terms of magnitude, but this one's going down and that one's coming up. So in our system, that's going to be negative. So you're going to set it to negative A, okay? And then mg minus T. Okay, again, this was given to us. We know G, this was introduced. So here, we have to kind of get rid of that T. It's a variable, right? It's an unknown, basically. Okay, uh, and acceleration is what we're going for. Now you saw in class how quick our shortcut was, but the point of this is if you're just not comfortable with this, or if you want an extra practice, I did it kind of in pieces. Okay, all right, so what do we have? So uh, in this case, what I think we're gonna do is let's multiply the bottom equation by negative one. So M times negative A times negative one, is this gonna be MA, right? And then it's gonna be equal to negative MG, right? We're gonna multiply everything by negative one, plus T. Oh, okay. you could easily substitute as well. I'm just gonna add these two equations together because now the t's will kill each other, right? And then we're gonna get big M, big MA plus little MA. So big M plus little M A is equal to, on this side, big MG minus little MG. And the tensions aren't there, right? Okay. This is definitely solvable because we have big M, little M that's given to us. Uh, we're just gonna solve for A. So A is equal to this guy. And just like in class, it's a lot of physics to tell you what common sense would tell you, right? Which is this guy fights that guy, so they disagree, right? That disagreement's right here, right? And then we just divide out by the combined mass, okay? All right, so no big deal. 